Welcome to Suerte del Molino, a farm in Andalusia, Spain. We are busy with an exciting experiment. Um, we are in the Mediterranean climate, southwest Spain. The, the mountain range, Sierra Morena, one of the ten <laughs> important ones in Spain. It creates a valley this side and other side. And then we have another small range on that side. Creating very specific inland Mediterranean conditions which we have to deal with. These plants they are special. They have adapted, these oaks, adapted to these conditions. The conditions, the essence is we have two growth seasons and two pause seasons. And these plants, they look like they have leaves all the time, but they actually change them twice a year. Uh, therefore, they can grow and uh, twice a year and actually do not grow at all during the hot and cold periods. We are busy with quite some revolutionary stuff for this farm. It all comes from me buying several trees online. Uh, five of each of five different species, 25 plants. And most of them came here in a small pot and then the taproot cut off. So obviously in the nursery it was growing. The taproot went through into the soil, just cut off and then they sent it to me. I created such a stink I uh, post many comments online uh, blaming them. They're selling me bulls without testicles. And uh, it's still ongoing war between me and them. But I feel very upset about this whole thing. Do not sell me a tree with a cut off taproot. It's not a tree. But then I realize there's no other way. There's, there are no deep pots. Um, 40 centimeters, 50 centimeters doesn't exist. Um, I looked for it. This is the tallest you can get. And uh, it's about uh, 30 centimeter soil. I need more if you want a taproot especially when it comes to the oak. So, that led to something else. Finally, I got hold of a roll of plastic tubing and uh, I wanted it in black, which is not available. I want it a little bit wider, but it's also not available. This is six centimeters wide. Eight would have been nice, 10 would have been acceptable, but the next one is 12. I cannot deal with that, it's, it's too much work. So we cut now. So we cut it in 50 centimeter length, stab some holes in it, uh, fold it over the bottom with this stapler and then cut a slit at the bottom about three centimeters long and we now create our own pots our own bags here outside next to our sandbox our nursery we mix sand and compost and 
we bought the sand and we bought the compost we tried our river sand we tried our compost it's far too rough for getting it into a bag like this then we created this funnel <laughs> it looks like i want to kill a chicken in here hold it here put the sand in here fill it with uh, push it down with a stick we have our bags and then we stick our acorn in there and fill it up to the top so this is operation uh, growing tap roots um, in our environment inland mediterranean climate nothing survives when the taproot is not long and it cannot reach to to some moisture even if we irrigate it so then i created these baskets and we had these bags in the baskets and then they all fell, fell over and now I have these planks in here and we keep them upright but then it's extremely difficult how do we water them now we are rolling back the top of these bags so that we can water them almost individually there will be 600 of these bags in here um, I still have to find a better way because watering 600 bags twice a day in the middle of summer for at least four months will be painful. Now this one I thought to change gears either to build a frame because now some fit perfectly some not because of our frame um but i'm going to put a uh, fabric over here fill this 40 centimeters with uh, sand and compost and then plant directly into this uh, my peach seeds peach pips and i mean we have maybe yeah, 50,000 seeds here. It's not outrageous because we have collected many, many kilos of Vachelia pods full of seeds and many others. So we are so excited. Uh, this is very revolutionary for us. It's everything about creating proper tap roots maintaining the uh, the tap root and then transplant it and we're going to make many more mistakes but i feel the first time we are on a better road with our uh, nursery our tree nursery other plants it's not so critical but these are this is honey locust, Jans from Sokel came with seeds and look at it. Um, everybody told us don't plant in spring, this is a, uh, sorry, in autumn, in fall, this is a spring planting. But look at them, and it's it's the first real leaves. Look at them. It's utterly amazing. I just love this moment. And some things didn't sprout at all. Anyway, 
it's a full-time job to have a nursery. We will grow and learn and change and adapt and observe and plant this whole farm under plants, under trees. Yes, shade we want. Till next time. Goodbye.